Peace, family. FDK to Homesteader here. I hope everyone is doing well. Here is an update on Thursday, you guys. So, y'all probably can hear it in my voice. I'm, I'm feeling a little happy. Okay, so this is um update on Thursday. The guys came in um about uh about 9:30. Um the uh, okay, three came today. So one guy was sent over to get started on the floor while the other two guys was picking up the toilet and the vanity for the bathroom. So this is the update today. So the other young man came in, he sanded and he painted. And it's looking really good. I'm very, very, very pleased with the flooring. They did a wonderful job on the floor. And I'm actually thinking about using the same flooring. And it's funny how that worked out because I had a darker shade. Hold on, you guys. Let me get that for you. All right, you guys, I'm back. So this is, this was my first choice, you guys. And that's a, a very dark gray. Um, they dismissed this color, so I'm told. But, you know, sometimes things work out the way they're supposed to work out. And I don't even want to say sometimes it does. So, this was the next shade over. And I really like this gray. Um, it brightens up the bathroom, which is good because this bathroom doesn't have any windows. Um, one of my bathrooms has windows. But this one doesn't. So, I'm very pleased with this color. I really like this color. And I think I'm going to put this color inside my craft room, which I'm going to be um, doing a makeover in there as well. And um, I want to actually brighten up that room, even though it has two windows, but not a lot of sun coming on that end because it's actually the front of the house. Most of the sun comes in through the back of the house. So um, right now my walls are green. And uh, I, I do have carpet, so I'm going to probably be painting my walls close to white um, or some something like an eggshell or something like that to brighten up the room. But I really, really love this gray. Okay. All right, so let's get over here. So this is the new fancy toilet, you guys. Now, um, they were hoping to finish the toilet in the vanity today, but they weren't able to do that because there's um, additional plumbing that has to be done. This is a very fancy toilet. It, um, it's, not, it's not a, what, is, what they call the new toilet, it's a beignet, the beignets. <laughs> I know it's not one of those kind of toilets, but what it is, is um, a slow close. That's what they call it, a slow close. And you see, I love the body of it, the bottom. It doesn't have all that swirling stuff where, you know, where it starts looking like butter at the bottom. So I really like that it doesn't have that. And again, it's so it's slow. It's called the slow close. It's by Cola, Cola, however you pronounce that word. So your top closes slow. The seat closes slow. I'll do a, dem a demonstration of that. Um, when they get it all hooked up, but he was explaining to me how much of the the plumbing and the pipes that have to be cut in order to connect it into that area right there. So it's kind of tricky, but he said they'll get it done. Um, uh, what else? And he said the same inside the vanity. They have to do some type of cutting uh, to fit everything in there properly. So that's what it's looking like right now you guys okay um so i'm i'm super excited they uh the contractor did the other contractor for the ceiling touch base with me today so they'll be here tomorrow at eight o'clock it's going to be a two-day process meaning friday and monday so they'll be able to close up tomorrow and I'm not sure if they're going to be able to finish off the electrical lighting that got affected from the flood, but um, they say in about four more days, I'll be good to go. So I'm hoping 
No, nah, I don't think they're going to be doing that flooring tomorrow. They'll just be closing up. So, uh, I'm going to be patient. Wait on the next uh, four days, they say. And hopefully, th this will be all over with. But it's looking really, really good. All right, you guys. So they didn't finish the baseboards on this end because they got to finish the plumbing with the vanity part. So that's what that is looking like. And I will definitely bring you guys another update. So they have to put the vanity, uh, the uh, countertop, which is a very nice uh, marble grayish looking top. It's really, really nice. So they have to do that. And I'll step back and let me show you guys how these are working. I really like the way these drawers are. And then this one looks like it's a double drawer. It gives the illusion of a double drawer, but it's one deep drawer, which I really, really like. Okay, so the guys, as far as um, doing everything that I said and getting everything that I wanted, they did really good on that part. You know, they was on point with that. Um, so, that is what it's looking like right now. But I will definitely bring you guys a finished look. Um, and I have some more ideas on what I'm going to do in, in this bathroom. As far as I'm um, filling in that space right there. I usually store up a lot of things in this space because it is a nice um, size bathroom. But I'm just going to change up just a little bit. I might even put more shelves up here. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm just going to just fancy it up a little bit. You know how, how we women do. And um, I'm sure my sons will be, are very pleased with it. And I won't have to hear this dog on toilet slamming no more if i tell y'all this wakes me up in the morning i don't know why my sons do that they just drop the whole the whole um cover the whole seat bam first thing in the morning out here so i was like i'm gonna fix that behind i'm gonna get a slow clothes <laughs> slow clothes slow clothes toilet you guys all right family so this is sek this is my thursday update and i will see you guys on the next video thank you guys hey miss you guys i will see you real soon <laughs> all right family so this is sek the homesteader and this is my thursday update on my renovations of my bathroom and i will see you guys on the next video and that'll be the kitchen um never tomorrow so, all right, you guys, thank you for all your wonderful comments. Thank you for cheering me on and then your, your, your wonderful words of encouragement. I thank you all. I see I see all you guys' comments. It's just that it's been a little bit hard to comment. I know I like talking to you guys. It's just been a little bit more challenging to, to respond back to you guys. But I see you. I see you. I see you. All right, family. So, this is SEK, the homesteader. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. You know how it goes. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. All right, family. I will see you guys soon. Peace.